What's up you guys? It's demo day. Okay, so I have sanded most of the bottom of the bowler, belly band and down, but it needs more sanding because we need to really refine it, make it shiny. There's quite a bit of texture. Look at this. Oh my gosh, the lighting is perfect to see how horrid this looks. This is my fault, a hundred percent. There's little divots down here that are damaged, not my fault, but look at this. So for today, what we're gonna be doing is Removing all of our hardware. So lights, emblems, more lights, and front and back windows need to be removed today because I'm actually going to be polishing the fiberglass with a fiberglass polishing compound that I got off of Amazon. If you would like to do the same, link is in bio. But yes, we're removing the windows. Eventually I will put them back on and I have a new window seal specifically made for these bowlers and scamps and really uh, thin fiberglass campers so again another link down below if you are a bowler person so removal of windows lights hardware I'm gonna get rid of this door hardware and i'm also going to be removing this because this these are going to be polished up so nice and i'm trying to make these as nice as i can because they're original and i think they're just so cute so let's get to it. Next thing I have to do is take the windows off. I'm going to start with just the back because honestly, I'm kind of scared. I'm not too sure how this is going to go. I've seen several videos on YouTube on how to remove these fiberglass windows off of a fiberglass camper, which is typically not that hard because it is a very thin frame and this seal has just a slip that the very thin fiberglass body will slide into and then it all sits in very well. I think that my bowler is a bit of an exception because as we've been hearing time after time, the name of the game is ramshackle. This bowler is very ramshackle. I love that word. I'm just gonna keep using it. Thanks to my mountain man friend for sharing that word with me. All of these layers of sealant and caulking and glue and who knows what. I'm not really sure how well this is gonna pop out. So I'm gonna take a straight edge. I'm gonna try to release it and just pop it out. so much cooler in here while I'm working. It's 
so hot out, but it feels like a cool breeze is coming in in comparison to the heat in here. <laughs> I think what I need to do is see how easy it will be to reinstall and then decide if I want to undertake the front one because it could be smooth sailing, could be simple, but I also could be signing up for a lot of headache. So I'm gonna mitigate that by just doing one side at a time. It's gonna clean up so much nicer than if I was to just try to leave the window on. And I have a nice brand new seal to put the window back in with, and it's gonna look so clean. Something I'm noticing is that the tile that the last person who tried to renovate this put on is a peel and stick tile. And interesting thing about these bowlers is that the walls are coated with something that they call elephant skin. And it's a really interesting fiber because it is a good insulator, but it's kind of like leather in a way. Apparently it was designed by NASA and they don't make it for commercial use anymore. So it's a good thing to try to protect this elephant skin. But as you can see, the peel and stick is on top of ele elephant skin that is barely attached to the wall. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do about that. Ooh. All right, so it is not looking very moldy in there. So I'm just gonna take advantage of that and seal this up. Make sure it's attached to the fiberglass better. Put another hole here, cause there's another bubble right there. And more sealant, attach it to the fiberglass. And as far as this mold goes, unfortunately, I think I'm just gonna have to try my best to clean it and then cover it with a mildew resistant paint. And then tiles on top. Shepherd life. All right, now floors. And I think these are gonna have to be removed in order to take the floors off. So I don't know, let's just continue winging it. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh my gosh, gross. I'm glad I lifted this. I do not want to sleep beside this. So I'll be removing that and cleaning that all up. And then we're just going to put a whole bunch of new flooring down before we place those back in. So overall, it's just going to be a nice tidy job and it'll look a lot more slick as well. Now let's just remove this side and then peel off this old flooring. So demolition is almost completely done. All I have to do now is just remove the windows tomorrow and then we are ready to begin sanding.
Hello. Today I'm going to try to get through as much of the exterior as I can. So first things first, I'm going to do my best to really clean up this plexiglass window. And so because I'm doing everything off the grid, I have to use power banks and the power bank needs to stay out of the sun. So power bank is under the RV I'm staying in right now. And this is my beautiful table. So I need to take off this gunk, try to polish it up. We'll see how clear I can get this. It's really not the worst. So hopefully I don't make it any worse. We'll see. <laughs> It has really stuck to the plexiglass. Oh my gosh, okay, we need plan B. Do we try acetone? I'm not sure. Let's just try some stuff. Professional acetone, it is the way, I guess. Perfect. All right, I just did a little test area to make sure that it doesn't make the plexiglass any more milky than it already is, because it is pretty corrosive. So all is, all is well there, and now I'm just going to let it soak for a little bit, and then hopefully it'll peel off nicely. So I'm gonna cut some of this cloth and just let it soak. This is me realizing that I just just ruined this plexiglass. We haven't even really done much. What am I gonna do? That means I need to purchase another one, I guess. Oh, I'm so bothered. Okay, let me show you the damage. Look, the acetone has caused the plexiglass to have a bunch of micro cracks. Look at that. Oh my God, that's horrible. Hi Jocelyn, I'm just calling because I am repairing my camper and my camper has a front and back plexiglass window. I just ruined one of them. So I'm wondering, do you guys deal with plexiglass at all? Yeah, no problem. Tell me something good. Hello? Hello? Um, are you able to come by soon? Uh, yeah, I can make it into town within half hour. All right. <laughs> Little change of plans. I am going to the local auto glass place. And I might just get two new ones made today. Was not the plan, but you know, these things happen. All right, cross your fingers that this works. How amazing is that? Same day, ruin it, get it replaced. So the, uh, I'm grinning because I'm so happy. It's, it's such a blessing that that happened because the replacement windows for a bowler from the bowler, the official bowler parts uh, website is $310 per window. And this was $230 for two windows. So that is the benefit, I guess, of getting stuff done locally and the chances of me getting it as crystal clear as these are going to be were very low. So probably took just as much time to whip into town and get it replaced that short notice. Okay, so since I had to go buy new glass for front and back, clearly there's no point in me keeping this in anymore. So I'm gonna remove that, finish demo, and then let's start sanding. Look how hot it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
so gross under here. Oh my God, gross. So I'm gonna take off this window and the window on the other side. And on one hand, I do sort of complain to myself because I feel like I'm giving myself a lot of work to have to take it off, clean it up, paint, and then put it back on. But at the same time, I tell myself, Ellie, we're doing this to do it right and we want to get it done properly. So I might be complaining in my own mind, but it is the right thing to do. But then it occurred to me, you know what? Those glass people were so good to me today. And I do have a crack in this window. So while this is off, maybe I bring it to the local glass people and get them to replace this panel. So now it's worth it. Now I complain less in my mind. last owners did a little bit of work on it. They, they are the ones that did, I think, a fair bit of the sanding and they put new lights on the side and reinstalled these windows. And of course, you need to use butyl tape, which is like a waterproof goop. And I feel like, honestly, the butyl tape was so hard to unstick from here that <laughs> Not that I would, but I feel like you could just attach these windows with butyl tape. Jocelyn? Hey, Jocelyn, it's Ellie. Hi, Ellie, how are you? I'm great, love, love, love the windows. I'm wondering, can you get me in in the next couple of weeks to replace one of the actual glass windows on the side? One of the panels is broken. Um, it is a side window of the bowler. <laughs> yes, I'm around tomorrow. Okay, awesome, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? She says that I cheered her up because all the other customers were complete downers. And I personally had to fake a phone call because they were total downers. Anyways, they pull through again, local company, love it. So tomorrow we're getting the window replaced. Talk over top of these ghosts. All right. <laughs> um, okay, so all the windows are off, and you know what happens when we're done a task. We gotta go to the lake. <laughs> What's a logging road without a little river? <laughs> to drive over. You guys we are going to wrap up this episode here i will catch you guys in the next one where we continue working on demolition getting more stuff done and enjoying the summer heat so thank you so much for joining me and see you in the next one